Hello guys, so in this video I will uh, explain the difference or the definition and the difference between measures and dimensions as well as um, discrete and continuous data fields. So let's get started. Of course, the, of course the set of slides are all available on Moodle for you. So what is a measure? A measure, measurable. You can measure it and thus you can express it uh, in terms of numbers where the numbers had a meaning. For example, your weight is measurable in kilograms. So if you present weight in kilograms, this means it's a numerical and it's measurable. This means you could probably the baby a uh, very newborn is starts his weight not from zero but starts from two kilograms to 2.5 kilograms and above. So there is a range for measures and they are measurable. They are in you can take averages, you can take um, maximum, minimum, sum, total of these measures. So for example, in our data set, we had sales and we had profits. These are measurables. Discount rates in percentages. These are measures. Now, how about dimensions? Dimensions are data fields that expressed in terms of category. So in terms of categorical data, for example, the region. The region, the category here is um, south, east, west, northwest, and so on. Sometimes when we talk about dimensions, we say that for categorical data, whatever the order is, it doesn't really matter. So in this sense, date, when it's put as a dimension, it will mean the quarters of all the years, the quarter one, two, three, four. Um, even if, if in the back of your head, you know that quarter one in the year is first and then quarter two and quarter three and quarter four. But when it's considered as a dimension, what happens is the system, if want to express the sales for quarters of the years, it will sum the sales for all quarters of the year. So in this sense, this is the category is a quarter, one, two, three. Or the category could be region, south, north, west. The category could be, well, if your weight is not expressed in terms of kilograms, but in terms of uh, underweight, average weight, overweight. In this case, it is expressed in terms of category. So you need to know your data. You need to drag your data field into the text uh, 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 the label here. Let me just uh, switch to um, to Tableau for a little while. Let me switch to Tableau, guys. So this is where we left off in the last video. So for example, let me take these out. Once you take them out, wherever outside the shelf or the row, they will just clean the view. Okay, guys, let's take a look, for example, on the order ID. If I throw it on the text here, I will take a look at the data and the structure of the data. Let's take another example. For example, let's take region and put it on text. Then I will see that regions is either central, east, south, and west. So if, you, if region, for example, was weight and if I dropped it, it gave me underweight, average weight, overweight, obese. In this case, I understand that it is actually categorical and it's easily, um, um, it's correctly um, classified as a dimension under the dimensions uh, uh, part, uh, um, side here under dimensions. Okay. All right. Very good. So dimensions are more category, categorical data, while measures are more numerical or measurable data that you can perform um, sum 
average, minimum, maximum, like for you can aggregate them. So this is how we uh, explain the difference between measure and a dimension. With measures, you can aggregate the measure, meaning you can sum all of them. You can uh, average all of them together, so you can aggregate. But with category call data, like a different region, can you sum the regions together? Does it make sense for you to sum central plus? No, you sum what? You sum the profits over that region. So region or dimension, in a sense, is used to slice the data. Okay, so dimensions are used to slice the data, to divide the data into groups, to group the data. So once you have the data grouped, then the computer will understand that you want us or you want me, the Tableau uh, uh, software, will know that you slice the data based on different cat uh, categories or different regions, and you would like to give the total sales per region. So it will perform the necessary calculations accordingly. Okay, now what's the difference between discrete and continuous? Before I get there, I would like to also mention that on the Tableau software or the Tableau interface, we have dimensions highlighted in blue uh, uh, capsules, while measures are in green capsules, as you can see on this uh, uh, this over here. Region is measure and it is in blue capsule, while the sales here is in a green capsule. I'm going to talk about different aggregation types like some average and so forth in the future videos. Discrete and continuous. Discrete values are always also in blue, just like categories, and uh, um, continuous values or numerical values are in green. The color of the icon in the data pane helps you identify either this is discrete or this is continuous. How do we differentiate between discrete and continuous? When the data type cannot be anything but discrete, like region, east, south, west, central. In this sense, it is discrete and it is categorical. Uh, it cannot be numerical, really, because of the nature of the data that we have in hand. However, when we're talking about date, we could have date as either discrete or dimension, or either continuous or a measure. For example, if we would like to show the quarters over three years in, as a dimension, as a discrete field, what happens is the date dimension will be used to slice the data in terms of quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four. And the three years worth of sales or profits that we want, would like to aggregate will be aggregated or summed or totaled over quarter one for the all three years, quarter two for, so the sales of quarter two for all three years, the sales of quarter one for over whatever years you got of data. When, when the date is uh, set to be a measure, and I will show you how to switch the between dimension and the measure. What happens is then the 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 the, uh, the 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 data line will be more of a continuous. What does that mean? This means for year one, this is a quarter one, two, three, four. Sum the data, sum the sales for quarter one of year one. Then comes continuously in the chronicle line comes year two. Then year two also have quarter one of year two, quarter two of year two, quarter three of year two, quarter four of year two, and then the data is summed per quarter, per year, and so on. So in fact, when we want to talk about discrete and continuous, the tricky part is the date. So I hope this video helps you understand 
the difference between discrete and continuous date format. Of course, with discrete data, as we explained earlier, or dimension, it is used to label the uh, uh, row or the column. So over here, we use the, um, the categories under the field region to label different columns here or different rows. When we add the sum, what happens is uh, the sum will um, be calculated or aggregated based on each category. Now, if you, if you take a drag and drop region over color, then what happens is you will get, as you can see, discrete colors. So every region will have separate unique color. While in continuous data, if you take sales, for example, what happens is sales will be used to um, give an order of the uh, viz or be aggregated over different dimensions. And if you drag a measure into the, the colors uh, uh, shelf, what happens is you will get a gradient color. So this is the difference because it is kind of continuous. So as you can see here, uh, when we color the same visualization with the uh, measure, we had a very dark uh, green at the very top and then um, uh, light green in shades uh, until it reached to the gray. Okay, let me show you how to do this right now. So let me switch to Tableau before I, I let you go. Uh, So let's go back to the first um, visualization where we have the region versus pro uh, profits. So I would like to add region here, drop it into color. So drag it with, with the mouse and just to drop it into color. As you can see here, we have discrete colors. These discrete colors also are shown on the far right. You could edit the colors. So all what you need to do is format edit colors, sorry, edit colors. And you can, um, for example, I would like this to be um, brown, uh, this to be uh, green, and so on. So you can choose different colors, or this is the automatic colors, or you can use uh, different uh, shades of colors over here and uh, try to use them accordingly. So these are the, the new color palette that I used. Now, if you would like to uh, um, um, sort or uh, ascending or descending, you can actually use the icons above. You see, sort ascending by sum of profits. So you can sort in this manner if you want. If you would like to also switch the order of region and sum, uh, of profits. In, in such a case, you don't want the um, orientation of the vis to be in a, a vertical, rather in horizontal. You prefer it in a horizontal. So you choose this icon, and this icon is to swap rows and columns. So you can just click this icon and you swapped the rows and the columns view. So if you are more interested into this kind of orientation, here, with a click of a button, you can experiment with swapping the orientation of the viz. So as you click here, you see the swap. Mm -hmm. So maybe this makes a, a better sense visually to put it this way. Now, what happens if we drag this out? If we drag it out, it will go back to the default blue color. All right. What if we would like to change this color? Um, yeah, let, 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 let me just um, stick to the to the slides first so that I don't um, deviate your attention. Let's try to take a profit and drop profit into the color here. So as you can see, because we used a measure to color the uh, graph, 
uh, then we had a gradient color. I Logically, I don't think we need to use a measure for this kind of graph. Why? Because um, we can sort in ascending or descending, and we can easily, with our mere eyes, we can easily recognize that this is higher than this, than this, than that. So a better coloring style would be to color based on the categories. So this is your sense of style and art of an art. And honestly, this doesn't show a very professional designer. Uh, you don't need to use measures to gradually show the lines. However, however, if you're using, for example, date, do we have date here? Mm, no. So let's take region out and put date or the date. And in this case, maybe if you would like to color uh, sales, in this case, it could make sense. It's especially if when I later show you how to um, uh, gauge the color based on a certain threshold. So you know that this color means a certain threshold and this shade means a certain threshold. So yeah, in this case, probably it may make sense. All right. So in this video, we learned how to create a very simple vis, difference between dimension and measure, difference between discrete and uh, continuous, especially when we're talking about dates. And also, we talked about styling our vis, uh, either by swapping it or ascending and descending here, ascending, descending, and we can swap it into horizontal or, or, or uh, vertical orientation, as well as coloring. So when you're using a measure to color the visualization, it will come in a gradient color, while if you use a measure, it will give you a disc discrete uh, color. So over here, uh, we can give a region. Where's the region here? And it will give us discrete colors. All right, guys. As for now, I would like you to build up on the different questions that you asked. So for example, you asked, what's the profit on the regional level? So over here, I would like you to use uh, either, I believe you should use your dimension that you chose. Um, of course, please come up with different question, not necessarily this question, but if you use this question, it's okay. But please use any other question of your choice and um, color either by uh, using a dimension or using a measure, the same dimension, not a different dimension. There is a different, a different video that I will talk about using different dimension or different measure to color the same visualization. So use either uh, the dimension or the measure that you chose and you dropped into either the columns or the rows to color your three different visualizations and three different questions. So in the previous video, you created three questions. In this video, please use either a dimension, the dimension or the measure to color your visualization. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video.